What is going on, my dudes? My dudettes is showing you the SNS Serpentarium. Do you remember this little Super Dwarf free tick? Um, I like to have her in the videos because when I first got her, she was quite nippy. So the more I handle her, the better, really. Um, Obviously, I will try to change up as much as possible, um, but I just wanted to handle her as often as possible and just to get her nice and tame. Um, she has tamed down a lot as well. She's not quite as nippy now. She's a lot more slow moving and stuff as well, as you can see. She's growing nicely. Um, she's put on a few grams with me, um, eating well. She doesn't refuse a meal. Which is awesome so anyway um today's video guys it is going to be about should you get a male or a female snake but before we get into any of that thank you for tuning in and spending some time with me here today i really really do appreciate it um if you do like the videos and stuff make sure you like the video and subscribe if you're new around you but let's get straight into it so the way to choose guys if you want a male or a female snake is for one thing um the size so females tend to get quite a bit bigger than the males that doesn't go for all species um so you need to know what species you're actually getting some colubrids it doesn't make a difference other colubrids the males are bigger obviously lizards if you're getting a legless lizard right the males are bigger as well so you need to know your species really for that that, that one other species then um Sometimes the male or the female is going to be more colourful than the counterpart. So you want to you wanna bear that in mind. But if it's just a pet and you don't care about how big it is, um, how, you know, you know the colour that not going to matter, the temperament isn't going to matter. Um, there's no temperament difference between males and females with snakes. Um, so then what should you get? Well, the answer is, is I would probably just get whatever's available. Um, most of the time it is going to be a male most of the time because more people want females I always go for a female when I'm buying a snake um, especially if it's the first snake that I've got of the species and the reason for my, my doing that is because if I enjoy keeping the snake species then um, and I want to breed them in the future then I've already got a grown on female this girl here, I doubt I would ever breed um, the Super Dwarf cross, um, but I like the size of the female a little bit more, which doesn't really make a lot of sense, but I like the girth more than the length, you see? So I wanted something a little bit more girthy. Um, she still stayed quite small then, so that's why I didn't go for like a mainland male or something like that. Um, and just to be honest, I you know she came from really good parenting and stuff as well, so I couldn't say no. Um, I did pay quite a lot for her though. Uh, another example would be last year I picked up obviously the warmer python. Um, you remember that? That's a female. I'll be picking up a boyfriend for uh, this year possibly. She's doing really well. She's growing on quite nicely. So that's what I like to do personally. Is I I like to go for the females first. But with some species, that isn't going to be always available. Um, if you're going for something like a royal python as well, there are a lot more males available than females. The females tend to be quite a bit more expensive because everyone wants to breed royals. So there are a lot of factors really, guys. Um, it does help if you do know your species, obviously. Um, rosy boas, obviously the female is quite a bit bigger than the male. Um, but with the rosies, they're so small, it doesn't really make a difference. So either sex would be fine unless you wanted a little something a little bit chunkier or a little bit smaller for whatever reason. So those are the sort of factors. Oh yeah, one more factor. Sorry guys, like I'm, I'm everywhere today. <laughs> one more factor is um, sometimes the females or males can actually be more pickier with feeding than the the other the other counterpart i tend to find the males tend to be not as good feeders in general as the females um even though i've obviously got a lot more females than males here i do find that the males are much more prone to fasting um much more prone to saying no i don't want that food item give me something else 
um, where the females they tend to just gobble it down so if it is just a pet it is worth bearing that in mind but you might have to pay more or wait longer for a female example so I hope you've enjoyed the video guys thank you again for coming here today and spending some time with me I really do appreciate it as I said in the start of the video, if you are new around here, make sure you are subscribed and you've got the notification clicked. I'll do videos loud and often. Always active down the comment section. If you comment anything, I will respond to you. Um, and I'm sure other people will be happy to chime in as well. Um, love to see everyone's comments and what they've got to say. Um, but again, thank you for spending some time with me here today. And I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.